Today, we're taking a look at a wonderful piece by one of my favorite composers for the bass. What's going on? It's Jason Heath and Lloyd Goldstein has been writing and arranging music for the bass for many years now. He is one of my favorite people on the planet and just a fantastic human being and bass player as well as a composer for the bass. You can also get a physical copy of all of these pieces from St. Francis Music. That's Lucas Drew's publishing house. We'll have a link to that in the description below and you can get from our sheet music store right away the digital copy. Today, we're going to hear Lloyd play the piece. We're going to talk with Lloyd about the piece. I'm I'm going to check out the piece and I really hope you enjoy it. Walk in the Woods. Uh, I'm just so happy about A Walk in the Woods that that ever came to me. Uh, I That was one of those things where I was just, I don't know, I remember standing upstairs and the first few notes or bars of this thing just kind of happened on the bass and I went, oh my goodness, this is going to be, this is something I have to follow, a road I have to follow. In the beginning it has sort of, a, I can almost interpret it as kind of a Baroque feel and introduction with a few it's very kind of stately with a few double stops and things, and it can be played at any number of ways. And then it just uh, jumps into this dance and it's very groovy. I would say it's rock music really in a way, pop music, I don't know. Yeah, something like pop or something a little jazzy, but it's so much fun to play and it sounds really hard. Uh, people, um, will write to me once in a while, like some guy just wrote yesterday, the day before on, on Facebook, you know, I have your book and I'm, I'm not ready to play Walk in the Woods yet, but I will, you know, and I, I don't think it's as hard as it looks. I think it's a trick. It's in our very friendly key of G. I think you'll have fun with this piece if you take, give it, give it a shot. All right, let's take a look at A Walk in the Woods. I love this piece. I've played it in public and it just sits so well on the bass. One of the things I love about Lloyd's music is he just gets everything ringing. So this G major, you're just getting it ringing from the bottom of the bass to the top. These first couple notes, that low G, and then you play the B, E. So already implying G major, moving to E minor. What a nice way to open that piece. And then as we go on, he's got all these nice rolls, trying to simulate the sound, in my opinion at least, of playing a guitar, playing a piano or something, really getting all these notes ringing. And I've noticed Lloyd has just such a wonderful touch to the way he plays the bass. I'm a little bit more of a Neanderthal when it comes to the bass. And so listening to him play the way that he phrases, it really helps him with these pieces. So, and also the marking of, uh, it's written in 4-4, but he gives you a tempo indication uh, for the half notes. So just trying to feel 56 is what he puts, but just trying to feel like two beats to the second. I do find it's helpful if I kind of think about this being slightly in two. It keeps me from being so plodding. <laughs> So 
on the bass, really, really fun. And then there's this dance, and the dance he has this really cool. So you get this nice little left hand pluck. It's so fun to arrive back at that G. quite doing that right, but I love those plucks anyway. And as with so many of his pieces, we have this really cool groovy pizzicato kind of breakdown. So you're going, uh... Back to Arco. is the one I had to work the most on. It's like, just kind of going up with thirds and then, just what a wonderful piece. That's a look at A Walk in the Woods by Lloyd Goldstein. Again, this is available from our sheet music store. Links to that and the physical copy are in the description below. If you enjoyed checking out this piece, check out this other title we've got linked up here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.